Welcome to this presentation by the National Weather Service Office in Jackson, Mississippi about lightning safety. Here we will be discussing myths and facts related to lightning safety. On to the first myth, which is, if it's not raining or there aren't clouds overhead, you're safe from lightning. A little known fact is that lightning can strike even if it is not raining or there are no clouds overhead. Lightning can and has struck locations and people more than three miles from a thunderstorm. In these places, it was not raining or even cloudy. Such lightning strikes, called a bolt from the blue, can strike even as far as 10 to 15 miles from the thunderstorm. At a distance of 10 miles, you may not be able to hear the thunder associated with that storm. The bottom line is that if you can hear thunder, you are definitely close enough to be struck by lightning. The image on the bottom right of this slide is a good representation of what a bolt from the blue from a thunderstorm could look like. The next myth is that rubber tires on a car protect you from lightning by insulating you from the ground. This is one of the biggest misconceptions about lightning safety, that rubber tires will protect you when taking shelter in a car. It is true, in fact, that most vehicles are safe from lightning as long as they have a hard top to them. However, it is the metal roof and metal side that protect you, not the rubber tires. Vehicles with fiberglass shells offer no protection from lightning, and neither do vehicles with an open top like a convertible or a Jeep. Motorcycles and bicycles are not safe either. When lightning strikes a vehicle, it goes through the metal frame into the ground, so it is usually wise to not lean on doors during a thunderstorm. On to the next myth. If outside in a thunderstorm, you should seek shelter under a tree to stay dry. I will play a video to demonstrate why perhaps it is not the best idea to seek shelter under a tree. If you are caught outside in a thunderstorm, your first instinct might be to take shelter under a tree to stay dry. By doing this, you are endangering yourself from being struck by lightning. Every year, Many people die from taking shelter under a tree during a thunderstorm. This is actually the second cause of lightning-related death behind being out in the open. Never seek shelter under a tree or anywhere outside. The best places to go are in a sturdy shelter or a hard-topped car. It is better to get wet than struck by lightning. Myth number four is that heat lightning is a non-hazardous type of lightning created mainly by the heat of the summer. The fact is that heat lightning is really just regular lightning occurring at a great enough distance where there is no thunder and usually no distinct flash. At a great distance, topography or just a slight curvature of the earth can obscure the actual lightning flash. The heat term probably arises from the fact that the distance from the storm is keeping the viewer removed from cooling rains associated with the storm, so it is usually hot or at least warm. The sound of thunder most often cannot be heard at a distance greater than 10 miles, but on a few occasions a faint flash from distant lightning can be detected over 50 miles away. Myth number five is that lightning never strikes the same place twice. It is definitely a myth that lightning will never strike the same place twice. Lightning frequently strikes the same place repeatedly, especially if it's a tall, pointy, isolated object. As a prime example in the picture, the Empire State Building is hit nearly 100 times a year on average. The picture on the left is an example of the Empire State bu Building being struck during an intense thunderstorm. Myth number six, if thunderstorms threaten while you are outside playing a game, it is okay to finish it before seeking shelter. 
This is definitely a myth. Many lightning casualties occur because people do not seek shelter soon enough. It is never okay to finish a game if you can hear thunder. When thunder roars, go indoors. No game is worth death or lifelong injuries. Seek shelter if you hear thunder. Adults are responsible for the safety of children. If playing on a ball field, dugouts are not safe shelters. Myth number seven. If a lightning victim is electrified, if you touch them, you'll be electrocuted too. This is one of the most chilling myths about lightning safety. Thinking that if you administer CPR or first aid to a lightning victim that you will be also electrocuted is definitely not true. The human body does not store electricity. It is perfectly safe to touch a lightning victim to give them first aid. Imagine if someone died because people were afraid to give CPR, even if there were people in the vicinity that knew how to administer this type of first aid. Myth number eight, structures with metal or metal on the body, jewelry, cell phones, watches, etc. attract lightning. In fact, the presence of metal in all shapes and sizes makes absolutely no difference on where lightning strikes. Mountains are made of stone but get struck by lightning many times a year. When lightning threatens, Take proper protective action immediately by seeking a safe shelter and don't waste time removing metal. While metal does not attract lightning, it does conduct it, so stay away from metal fences, railing, bleachers, etc. Height, pointy shape, and isolation are the dominant factors controlling where a lightning bolt will strike. Here in the picture on the bottom right, it is an example of uh, a bunch of cow fatalities. They were standing next to a metal fence because metal does indeed conduct electricity and the lightning charge traveled through the metal fence and managed to strike all the cows in the vicinity. Another myth to figure out how far the thunderstorm is from me. I can count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and so on. This is not a myth. This is actually true. Counting after seeing a lightning strike is a very good way to judge the distance that that strike was away from you. The sound of thunder travels about a mile every five seconds. Therefore, count the seconds between the flash and the crack of thunder and divide by five and the result will be a distance in miles that the lightning is away from you. Get inside if the time between the flash and the thunder is 30 seconds or less. The last myth for this presentation. If trapped outside and lightning is about to strike, I should lie flat on the ground, much as this cat is doing in the picture. But the fact is, lying flat increases your chance of being affected by potentially deadly ground current. If you are caught outside in a thunderstorm, keep moving towards safe shelter such as a sturdy building or a hard-topped automobile. And thank you for viewing our presentation about lightning safety. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please give us a contact at the phone number listed or via Facebook or Twitter.